I'm Jay Paul. I am founder and director of Hustle and Hive Marketing. We offer a full stack uh, marketing service, so everything from training and development through to digital road mapping and strategy, and also all of the meat in between, so digital audits, one-to-one uh, -one sessions, etc. My best tip and social media advice would be to be prepared for the best and the worst. What could possibly go wrong on social is just about everything, but if you manage it, all of those things can be managed and you can do, do things well with social. So have a plan, have a strategy in place, but also be agile and ready for the good, the bad and the ugly and everything in between. I would recommend that freelancers use paid search, including Google Ads and other paid search opportunities. Uh, a lot of freelancers might feel a bit intimidated by the cost or the technical side. There's training out there, so particularly I'm a trainer, but also the Google Academy have training to help you to get your head around things like keyword and bidding strategy. Uh, but search is a core part of every stage in the customer journey and particularly if you're trying to stand out from the crowd, you need to position yourself and search is a really important part of that. One thing I would suggest, just one thing I would suggest for any freelancer trying to uh, sort of grow and build their business is to really learn. I know obviously I'm a trainer, but particularly uh, in different stages in my career, I've really focused on upskilling myself. Of course, marketing would be something that I would point people towards to be able to market yourself, market your brand and your business. But even if it's beyond that, just learning how to do something new for your business, uh, you will learn, you will stretch and you will grow, but it will also benefit your business as well. So whether that's you know, learning how to use a new tool to help with productivity, learning how to balance work and life a little bit better, anything to improve that day to day and also to feel your personal growth within that as well. Next steps for me in my freelance career, it's essentially building. So I'm going to be building my new website and with that a digital footprint and a brand. Also building my client base. I want to go more global. I want to really kind of push the boat out with the clients that I'm working with and really make some, make some waves. And finally, most importantly, is building a community of freelancers. So particularly freelancers that I want to work with um, and that are ready to kind of hit the ground running when the projects come in.